How's it going everybody? It is Ivy July. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day and welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Battle versus Al Dead over here in the OU tier. So if you do enjoy these, make sure to hit that like button on the video and the team I'm using is in the description down below if you do want to try it out. Made by John Zera and it's a Mega Lopney Swellow Normal Spam with a few bulky bonds like Tornadus, Slowbro, Special Defensive Excadrill. And it's uh, Rocks, Toxic, Raptor, and Set. I like it a lot. It's pretty good for a top Coco, Electric types in the tier. And uh, can catch a lot of people off guard by living some hits. So, we're going to lead off with Lop and you get a free fake out off as it leads off with Tornadus. I want to see what kind of Tornadus it is. So, Lop is pretty much free, always going for the fake out and just getting a free chip and finding out what the sets he's running because I have no idea um, what it could possibly, possibly be. There's a lot of different sets. Uh, looking at the team, they could all be running a lot of different sets. Tornadus could be Z-Move or Rocky Helmets, who knows. But he let off with Torn and switching to Rotom, so Rotom's left over, so I know that. I go into Hydreigon, pretty nice switch into Rotom as he Volt switches, very nice play. Uh, just getting that momentum, he goes into Torn. I think he might just go for like a Flighty MZ over here, so I go into my Torn, but he actually just goes for the U-Turn. That's a safe play as well, since my Hydreigon, if it specs... He's faster. If I'm Scarf, he lives the hits because Scarf Hydreigon shouldn't be able to knock out Torn from full. Uh, so I went to my Rocky Helmet Torn. It's his Torn, and he U turned on out. He took some chip, but it doesn't matter because he has the ability regenerator. So yeah, he's free to take all that Rocky Helmet chip he wants. Uh, brings in Garchomp. I was scared of the Rocky MZ from Garchomp, so I U turn out on that into Slowbro. A lot of U turning, I know, but we're feeling each other out. This is a typical OU game. If you guys don't play OU too much, typical OU. We just feel each other out. See what sets we're running unless you just don't care about that and you just want to win as fast as possible and you just like stay in versus everything most of the time and you're like what the heck this guy's a bad player but really they're just trying to speed up the game most of the time just predicting but uh most both of us are kind of feeling each other out um so he was actually mega guard trump i brought in slow and slow can take a plus two earthquake and rock mz maybe not an outrage dragon mz plus two but most people don't really run that uh, but he was Draco Meteor, so I'm thinking he was going to be like Mild Nature, Gar Mega Garchomp. Usually that's what people run, Mild Nature. It's a minus defense plus special attack. And it's because Mega Garchomp just already has a lot of defense. And some people do like to run Naive Nature, but I think most of the time they run Mild Nature. Just because they like to run a mix of special attack and attacks, physical attacks with Mega Garchomp. But yeah, over here, going to switch in my Hydreigon on, on the Rotom, but he makes a nice switch into Landorus. He could U-turn, so uh, I'm going to switch out Hydreigon because I don't want to just like take a U-turn for free, and uh, rather just go into Torrent if he does want to get up rocks, stuff like that. I do have the Dark EMZ on Hydreigon as well, which could do a lot to Lando, but he does have that Magirna right there, and it looks to be a Soul Vest Magirna. I go for U-turn on the mag, because I'm not too sure what mag could be. It could be Z-move as well. I don't want to get bopped by a Flare Cannon Z-move, so I'm going to U-turn on out into the Excadrill, and judging from that Flare Cannon, it looks to be a Soul Vest mag, and uh, that U-turn barely did anything as well, so probably max HP as well. And I see no leftovers, um, so most likely a soul vest. Could usually be Z-move, like bulky Z-move, but uh, he just has a lot of other better Z-move. Well, Magirna's a really good Z-mover, but um, judging on like his team composition, it makes sense because Magirna is his switch into Psychic types on his team, and it's most likely a soul vest. So, yeah. I go into Torn on his Torn because I'm scared of Fighty MZ, but it turns out he is Fly Z, which kind of just sucks because my Torn is going to get bothed by that. Um, I thought it was going to be Fighty MZ because he brought it in on my x right there, as you guys saw, and he knocked off. Uh, so you got to remember Rocky Helmet on my Torn. I don't want my x drills lefties knocked off because that would really suck because x is my main switch into Magirna because um, Magirna can just fire off attacks freely versus me unless I have x drill around because Flare Cannon is going to do a lot. Volt Switch is going to do a lot. He can just easily Volt Switch versus everything if I lose x drill, And especially if he keeps hitting it, it's hard if I lose my leftovers. So I brought in Swallow after my Torn got knocked out. Unfortunately, Boom Burst doesn't do too much. I was hoping that maybe he would stay in and predict the heat wave, but he does not. So, playing really safe over here, really cautious, but my main end goal is Megalopony Sweep, and his team is really weak to Megalopony. Most teams are. Um, it outspeeds almost everything other than, like, Scarf Lando, if he is Scarf Lando. And I'm going to try and whittle down this Lando right now, predicting him to switch into it. I'm going for the Toxic. Now, you could have switched in Tornadus, too, but Toxic on Tornadus is really good as well, because I need Chip on Tornadus so that Megalopony can knock it out with Return. And, uh... Make sure that he doesn't get Battle Bond Greninja as well, because I'm more so thinking he's going to be Ash Greninja on his team. So, I'm going to go in Slowbro as he goes for the U-turn. 
Uh, I take that, and I am Regenerator as well, but it does give Greninja a free switch, but he actually wants to Rotom, so I guess he does want to defog away the rocks. Makes sense. He doesn't want the rocks to stay up, since Rotom is most likely his defogger. And since Torn was Z-Mover, Torn could be Z, uh, defog as well, but maybe he's like uh, four attacks Torn. Uh, Torn could be a lot of things, honestly. Um, and usually you don't see too many du dual defog teams, but he could be like U-Turn knockoff, Hurricane defog on Torn. But he could be like Heat Wave 2 or Superpower. Or Focus Blast. But who knows? Uh, and just bop Maxitril. <clears throat> so I bring in Hydreigon on the Rotom as he defogs. I went for Earth Power. Should have just went for the Dark UMZ. Because it makes sense. He's not going to switch and make Girna on Hydreigon. Because, I mean, Hy Rotom takes the Dark Pulse and the Draco Meteor. Unless I'm Specs. Which he doesn't know I'm Specs. But he's probably banking on me being Z move. Or um, probably just Bulky Hydreigon too. That, with, which can switch in on Heatrans and stuff and Roost as well, which are most of the time going to be Z-Move. And just looking at my team, what else is going to be the Z-Mover, you know? Um, my Torn is gone and those Rock Elements, so yeah. Extra Jules Leftovers, Megalopony's Megalopony, Swellow's not going to be Z-Move, it's always Spec, so yeah. Going to bring an Extra Jules on the Magirna, he makes a nice double switch into Tornadus. Very nice play, I like that a lot. I like when my, I see my uh, opponents making some good plays, um, so you know, that's how you know you're playing a good player. So, yeah. Gonna go and try and toxic him, but or get up rocks, but I can't do that now because he has taunt. So there is that fourth move that Torn is running. U-turn, hurricane, knockoff, and taunt. Taunt is really good on Torn. I like it a lot. Stops and shut down a lot of teams that um, rely on just moves that don't attack. Shuts down Toxpex's recovers, Chansey, um, soft boils, fables, wishes, all that jazz. I really like it a lot. Taunt on Torn. It's one of my favorite things to run on Torn too. Little secret. Because a lot of bulkier teams get shut down by that. And they stop recovery. But yeah. I'm going to go into Megalopony now on Delando. Because I know he's going to U-turn. He's not going to Earthquake. And Lopony does take that pretty well. And Lopony gives me a good switch. Uh, like, not switching, but like a uh, good position. That's what it is. Good position because it's kind of forcing him to lose a Pokemon. Because I need to start getting a Pokemon knocked out over here. Because he has all six. I already lost one. It's not looking too good. Like, he's going to sooner or later get another one. If I keep switching around, he keeps on U-turning and volt switching. So uh, I'm bringing Megalopony, bringing the offensive pressure, I go for Fake Out, and now I'm going to go into Swellow, because it could take the Uke turn, it could take the Earthquake since I am immune to it, and Swellow does bait in the Magirna as well, and Swellow does have that nice, useful move called U-Turn, <laughs> so that's the whole battle, there's a lot of U-Turning, I mean that's OU for you, if you play a lot of OU. But uh, yeah, just going to U-Turn on out as he does double switch into the Rotom. Uh, probably expecting a heat wave right there, but so I got U-turn, so now that gives me a nice offensive position to uh, bring in my Hydreigon. I was thinking of going for Bruce, but I was like, you know what, let's just let's just attack because if I have Bruce, we're gonna keep going back and U-turn again and again and again, and sooner or later it's just gonna he's gonna make a play, probably catch me with an earthquake randomly. So it's gonna go for the Dark Game Z and just sack my Hydreigon, uh, just because I need the damage on Rotom to. Uh, knock it out with Megalopony's return. Like I said, I'm gonna try and end the game with Megalopony, but I need to get to my rocks up as well. And also, I do want Swellow to maybe pick up a KO, because Swellow obviously is not an Mon. I want to try and use it as well and get a p KO so it can do something. So, I'm gonna bring in Slowbro as he turns on out into Greninja, and this is where the Greninja comes out. I thought he was gonna bring in Greninja on my Hydreigon earlier. I guess he just didn't see the opportunity to bring it, because that was a free Greninja switching, honestly. Because Greninja's Dark Pulses and probably picks up a KO or Surf's. And uh, I'd have to predict if he's gonna go for Dark Pulse or Surf. Luckily, though, Slowbro does have Protect, and I don't have to predict. I can just see what he's gonna go for. He does go for Dark Pulse. So. Uh, when I saw that, I'm going to go into Megalopony and take that, since Megalopony is fighting type and I can resist. And he does not pick up a KO, and that's important because I need a lot of sacks for his uh, Pokemon sooner or later. So finally, going to knock out the Rotom right there. Megalopony picks up a KO. Nice. In comes Torn though, to check my Megalopony and go for like a Hurricane. I can't really risk that, so I'm going to sack my Hydreigon over here as he does go for the Hurricane. Unfortunately, he misses right there, but it's fine because he goes for the U-turn and knocks me out right there. And uh, I was hoping that maybe somehow I could live, but nope, Torn's gonna knock me out. I mean, he did get a crit on my Slowbro with the U-turn, but oh well. So then comes Mega Chomp, I'm gonna go into my Mega Lopany and go for the Fake Out, and hopefully put it in range for a high jump, kick, high jump Kick, because Mega Garchomp is so dang bulky. Judging from the HP, 
I'm not too sure if it was mild nature. Maybe it's a roll still with mild nature, and he lives. But for some reason, he got a rocks instead of earthquaking. <laughs> so I'll take that because Mega Lobany was the biggest threat on my team. If he got rid of that, I just lose the game like instantly. There's nothing I can do. Greninja just wins. Uh, this is my only thing that can check him because Mega Lobany has fake outs plus quick attack. And once I get rocks up, fake out plus quick attack. If I can nab that Greninja, it's gonna go bye bye. So. He brought in Lando, I'm just going to go and swell predicting the Earthquake or U-Turn, I know I can take either or, and then I'm playing us a wrap spin later on to get rid of the rocks, but he surprised me with the explosion right there, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Losing my Swellow, because Swellow is also a nice uh, check to regular Greninja, not Ash Greninja, and uh, just does a lot of damage, to maybe if I can get a Heat Wave off on Magirna, but that's unfortunate, and also outspeeds Tornadus and can easily KO it with Boom Burst, probably, since it's offensive Tornadus. Uh, so you brought in Greninja, which is awesome, and gives me a nice fake-out chip on that, so once I get rocks up, Quick Attack will knock it out, and Quick Attack uh, is faster than Water Shrink, since Megalopony is naturally faster than Ash Grin. So I'm going to sack Slowbro, since Slowbro doesn't really do much anymore. Slowbro is just there to check any physical attackers and uh, Ice Beam or Scald them. It was really there for, like, Mega Garchomp and his uh, Lander C, but, uh, yeah, uh, couldn't really switch into those things because he could have brought in Greninja predicting Slowbro to come in and just get a KO, so that's why Slowbro, I didn't really like it too much in this matchup. So, I'm gonna go for the return as he just, you know, switches on out because I know he's locked in Dark Pulse, unless he's not gonna be Specs, but most of them are, because uh, if randomly, if he just went for Water Shuriken right there and, you know, knocked out Megalopony, that'd suck, but luckily he's Specs, so... Gonna go into Extra Drill, and now it's time to get the rocks up. Now, if he switched out into Torn here, that sucked because then he could taunt me, but luckily he did not, so he was just second Magirna, which makes sense because he doesn't want his Torrent to get randomly toxic and then in range of Megalopony, and that'd be bad. Uh, and then I'd for sure win because I need the Torrent to probably switch in on Megalopony for him to choke away the game, uh, or maybe get some type of chip on the Torrent, or critical hit it. That's another option too. <laughs> critical hit it, or miss Hurricane because he has to hit a Hurricane to knock him out lock Megalopony. Um, because Gren, he got hit by the rocks, he could never beat my Megalopony with Gren because Quick Attack will knock him out. Well, actually, uh, it might be a roll, actually. Maybe, yeah, probably a roll uh, over here. But either way, he can't switch out Gren because, uh, as you can see, it, that little chip of Stealth Rocks is going to matter where I will knock him out with Quick Attack. So if he switches out the Torn right there, I hit him with the Fake Out, and then Return will knock him out. So yeah, it's going to come down to a Hurricane. Can he hit the Hurricane? He wasn't expecting Quick Attack too, so Return almost knocks out Torn, lives on a sliver, and he misses the 70% accuracy Hurricane. It all came down to that, and that's OU Pokemon for you. It always comes down to those 70% accuracy moves. Focus Splash from Mega Zam comes down to Magma Storm to Heatran. That's how you lose games, and Hurricane and Tornadus, but hey, that's the game we play, and that was a GG to Aldair. That's unfortunate, but it was a really close game. Um, I think he was not expecting the quick attack, most likely, from my Megalopony. He probably just thought he won the game right there with Ash Grant with Water Shuriken. But I caught him off guard with the quick attack, so he's like, oh crap, now I gotta hit a Hurricane. Because every player does not want to, you know, come down to them hitting a very inaccurate move. And it came down to him hitting the Hurricane. He did play pretty well, too, because he was double switching with the Magirna, predicting me to go into Excadrill. And uh, I was just playing pretty safe, just trying to feel him out and. Uh, I didn't really want to make too many risky plays because I felt like I had uh, the advantage to make a Lopany. I just didn't want to ri risk make a Lopany, but I probably should have because um, I did try a little bit with that Earth Power and Road and Wash, but yeah, that just didn't work out for me. I should just went for the Dark UMZ, honestly. So yeah, that's going to be GG. Next up we got is versus Ricky over here and looking at Ricky's team. Pretty offensive, make a Zard. And uh, Zard X or Zard Y, either or. Probably Zard X looking at the team. Probably Defog Road or maybe Defog Lando. Magnet Zone's pretty interesting, but it makes sense to trap Soul Steals for maybe Lele. Pex is there, they're probably just ball crap, like other Zard Ys and stuff like that if it's Spadef. So, yeah. Looking at it, Megalopony is going to destroy <laughs> with Swellow, because uh, Megalopony destroys every team. I love Megalopony, my favorite Mega. So, I'm going to lead off with Torn because Torn looked pretty nice versus him. I could get a knockoff off. And, uh, yeah, his only rocker is Lando, so probably. Lando's gonna be the rocker, and I can just knock it off Hurricane at Defog on it. Turns out to be Rocky Helmet with a Rock Slide. Luckily, it's not Stone Edge, because Stone Edge probably would have knocked me out, maybe, um, if he was a little more offensive. But Rock Slide seems to be defensive, Lando, obviously, because it's Rock, Rocky Helmet. Um, and I can just use Turn On Out since I know him faster, get a little bit more extra chip, and go into Hydreigon. I don't want to stain, because obviously, I could go down to a Rock Slide and 
I could miss Hurricane, and yeah, I just want to get some Regenerator as Voltorn. So, I'm gonna go for the Dark Z on the Lando, hopefully knock it out. I mean, it is probably max HP. I'm thinking it's probably even max defense as well. Maybe a little bit of speed to outspeed, like Heatrans and Magirna, stuff like that. Maybe even Gliscor if it does have Hint of our Ice. But, it turns out to live, like what? <laughs> <laughs> How to live that. I guess I Dragon is just not knocking people out. Didn't knock out the Road and Wash last game. Didn't knock out the Land T this game. I'm like, okay then. Alrighty, I'll take it then. Um, brings in Magnazone. I go for the Earth Power. Four times weak to Earth Power, but it lives somehow, some way. It's a Soul Best, most likely. And then it has Signal Beam as well. I'm like, what? We're not playing Yu Yu. There's no crocodiles around here. <laughs> I mean, even if there was, you have Flash Cannon. You can still hit it pretty hard. I don't even know what Signal Beam is for. Hoop Unbound? <laughs> it's just a KO hit or something? So, uh, yeah, okay. Knocks out my Hydreigon right there. I mean, Flash Cannon probably knocked me out. Maybe. Uh, if you'll specs. Or not even specs, because Magzone is really strong. But either way, I could bring in my Spadef X Drill. He does have the Hit of Power Fire, so that's nice. He can do some good damage to X Drill. Weaken it for Top of Lele. The Top of Lele could easily just spam Psychic versus me and all that. Moon Blast, too, as well. Um, but I do want to get rid of the rocks on my side of field, you know, just get rid of, get, put rocks on his side of field because he does have Charizard and get rid of the rocks on my side of field and then just knock him out the Earthquake, so good old Spadef X Drill for you. He probably was like, okay, I got the Soul Vest and now I got the Spadef X Drill. We both have really specially defense Pokemon that caught, caught each other off guard. So, in comes Rotom, I do have Mold Breaker Levit and he does have Levitate, so I hit him with the Earthquake, but doesn't knock him out since X Drill is not offensive. And most rhythms are pretty defensive, and he does live. But unfortunately for him, man, everybody's missing these moves. He misses his will wisp which could have burned me in half my attack. So he would have lived the next Earthquake. And then maybe, I mean, honestly, he could have went for a Hydro Pump, knocked me out. Uh, maybe if he wanted to Defog as well, but, I mean, I probably would have just spammed Rocks and then just Earthquake them if he didn't Defog one turn. Since uh, Rocks do have more... PP and Defog, and obviously I have leftovers, so leftovers in the case burn. So sooner or later you'd have to switch out or you know hit me with the high pump. So I'd always get rocks up pretty much, and I want rocks up for that Charizard right there. Gets rid of half of its HP. Always get those rocks up for those Charizards as well, Coronas, because it's important. Because those things are massive threats. <laughs> so we're gonna bring in Swell, go for that Specs Boom Burst as he sacks Landers T to the rocks. And uh, Specs Boom Burst look pretty nice, unless it's going to be Scarf Lele and just bop me with a Psychic. I'm just going to hope that and pray that he's not going to be uh, Scarf Lele, but he actually brought a Pex, so I guess he's not Scarf Lele. And I uh, usually Pex max special defense, so I should be able to do a lot of damage to it because it just, you know, it's Boom Burst. It's a 140 base power move, and Swallow, I think, did get a buff in Gen 7 with a special attack. That's why some people do wonder why you use Specs Swallow over Flame Orb Swallow, because... Swallow does have the ability Guts as well, and it could uh, double its attack with its status, like Burn. Um, but Swallow, Specs, like, they're both really, really good. It's just that Swallow's Boom Burst has Scrappy, and it can hit Ghost types. And there's some Ghost types in the tier, like Mega Sableye, it could really clap those guys. So it is pretty nice to have that. And it's just an all around still powerful move, as Heat Wave as well, it could hit the Steel types. And the other Swallow doesn't have close combat, it can't really hit Steel types, so that's another thing as well. But yeah. Um, he went for T-Spike, doesn't really matter with the Tox Specs, knock it out, and then comes Tapu Lele. Easily one shot because it's not Scarf. Unless he's a Soul Vest. Could run the Soul Vest Tapu Lele, but he's not. And uh, Zard gets knocked out by the Boom Burst, and that's uh, GG versus Ricky. Swallow uh, cleaning up the game pretty nicely after Magnezone got weakened. And uh, yeah, getting up those rocks, told you it matters. Luckily, it wasn't Scarf Lele, so he had no Scarf for her on the team. He probably should put a Scarf for her, that's my advice. Uh, looking at the team, maybe Scarf Lele, I'd say, since he wasn't Scarf Lele. Um, that could easily check the Swallow, because anything fast and hard like my Swallow, easy sweep. Um, and he's probably relying on Toxpex to wall, though. You know, special attacking mods, most likely, and then he has Lando for the defense and another Rotom for the defense. But Swallow just is a little too hard for you. So, that's why I like Swallow. And next up, we got Zerus and Miranda. And look at Miranda's team, looks like to be a uh, screens offensive team because he has the Sceptile, he has the Coco. Nobody really runs regular Sable in OU. People run regular Sceptile in OU. I've ran it before too. It's pretty nice with the Unburdened Electric Seed or any other seed you want with other Cocos, or not Cocos, uh, Tapus, uh, since it doubles its speed. And then it can Swords Dance as well. It's not bad. And maybe it's going to be weakness policy. Metagross and Toxpex and Sableye are weird. Maybe just put some random stall on there. I don't know. And then Dragonite could be weakness policy or Z-move as well with Dragon Dance. And yeah, Metagross could be a uh, Totemize or Rock Polish, whatever it gets. Shouldn't get Shift Gear, though. Metagross Shift Gear? Ooh, that would be bang. 
because it raises attack and doubles its speed. That'd be really nice. Like, uh, it'd probably get banned. <laughs> maybe up to OU. Um, probably banned from you, maybe. I don't know. Either way, we lead off the Mega Lop, and he looks really good because it could outspeed everything and fake it out. Leads off with Sableye. Very nice play with the Detect. No Protect. Detect. A lot less PP than Protect, but okay. Um, I guess we're styling out here. So uh, he can go for the Prankster Willis, but I'm going to go into Swello and just hit him up with a nice Boom Burst. Because uh, I don't know if it's going to be Mega or what, but probably Mega because nobody really runs regular Sableye, like I said. So just going to fire off the Specs Boom Burst. I don't really care about the burn since I'm a special attacker. And if I was a physical attacker, I'd probably be Guts. But uh, I won't be able to touch Sableye since I don't have Scrappy and I don't have anything else. Usually Guts Swell have like... Well, I guess they have Brave Bird, so never mind. Brave Bird could do a lot, but we take a lot of recoil, honestly. So, yeah. We'll go for the Boom Burst. He looks to be especially defensive. Both Sableyes are. They usually are max special defense, max HP. Um, he knocks off my Specs right there, which is fine. I get another Boom Burst off, and I can knock him out. But he switches out into the Metagross. Still does a decent chunk. And I want to see what kind of Metagross this is. If he is going to be um, gonna Scarf, I don't know. Could run Scarf, but turns out to be Bullet Punch. And he's just going to knock me out right there. Um, which is fine. He turns out to be life for, which is interesting. So didn't expect that. I thought he was gonna be weakness policy. What's well, greens on Coco? Surprised he didn't even lead off Coco too. But Mega Sable, I guess, makes sense if he doesn't want hazards on his side of the field. So I'm gonna bring a Hydreigon on the Metagross and just go for an Earth Power because it covers him switching out to Coco. Unfortunately, he lives on like one HP, <laughs> so that sucks. And for some reason as well, faster. Which is not supposed to happen, not Scarf Hydreigon, and Coco is way faster than Hydreigon. He should be running max speed, top of Coco, I don't know, maybe they just need Eevee it? I don't know. But, Sceptile comes out, he gets the Electric Seed right there, at least they got that right. The Electric Seed on Sceptile, but they go for Acrobatics, and that does absolutely nothing. Because you're not a flying type, and Hydreigon just, you know, bulky enough to take that, and I just go for the Dark Pulse, and uh, easy one shot, so that's unfortunate for them. They got a screen up, that would have been nice, because then we actually have a real game going on where they can live hits, but yeah, no screens means I'm just gonna knock you out. So, I'm just saying this right now. Dragonite saying, Nani, what happens here? So, I don't have a dragon move, so I'm gonna have to go for the Dark Pulse right here and just get some free chip on this Dragonite, break its multi scale as well, and uh, make sure that you can't, like, get some free Dragon Dances up versus me. I gotta just keep on attacking it. As he does pack the Dragon Claw. So, Dragon Claw, easy one shot on me since you're plus one attack. Gonna go into my pretty defensive Slowbro. Does have a little bit of special defense as well. They go for Dragon Dance on Slowbro. Not a good play because Slowbro has that Ice Beam four times weak to it. And I better knock out Dragon, I swear to God. Okay, good, it does. Slowbro does have pretty good special attack as well. Unlike Cresselia, I used a team from John Zera. I didn't even knock out Dragonite with its Ice Beam, Cresselia. I'd rather use Slowbro than Cresselia now. I mean, Cresselia is pretty much bulkier, much, bulk, much more bulkier, and does have a levitate as well, which is nice, but, and also, you know, it's not also a water type, but water typing is also good to have since it can help versus rain teams and resist water moves and all that jazz, but, yeah, they have their benefits. Either way, um, Income Sableye doesn't go for recover for some reason, I don't know why, I <laughs> just took it with Scald, I'll take it, I guess. In comes Pex. I'm like, okay, I can't really do much to Pex since I don't have a Psychic move. I don't, I can't Toxic or anything like that. I don't have Toxic. I have Scald, Ice Beam, Protect, and uh, Slack Off. So, yeah, I'm just going to switch on out into Torrent and just go for Knock Off. But turns out it'll be Z move, Z Toxic, Poison Z. I'm like, okay, you got some really interesting sets. I thought Dragonite was going to be Z move or in. I thought I was going to go for a Z move on my Slowbro. And I'll tank it and just Ice Beam you. But no. And I went for Knock Off because uh, I forgot it was Z move. That's what happens when you. Uh, Wi-Fi battles, sometimes you don't pay attention. And usually, I'm so used to clicking knockoff on Toxpex. It's just natural to have it. I'm just like, alright, knockoff Toxpex, get rid of Titan. Real, really quick. And then uh, I'm just gonna click Hurricane until I'm forced to switch out. From, like, Toxic and all that. So, yeah. Goes for the Baneful Bunker. I'm just gonna try and sack my Torn and just click Hurricane because Pex is just gonna get annihilated from anything I have in the back, honestly. I go to x Drill, it's gonna click Earthquake. And, uh, yeah, he's just gonna forfeit the game over here, I remember, because I think all he had left is Metagross. And, uh, Metagross gets bought by Earthquake as well. So, yeah, and a Megalopony in the back. But, I don't know, maybe you could have played it out, because, who knows, maybe I miss moves, maybe you live hits. It's Pokemon. You never know, but, yeah, that Coco needs that speed, I'd say that for sure. You need that speed on Coco, and maybe take off Toxpex and Sableye on a hyper-offensive team like this. This is a, you know, doesn't work well. 
Um, I can understand it a little bit because, you know, you want to take hits and Sableye does stop the hazards for Dragonite as well and just for any other Pokemon in general. But you can stop with a Taunt and stuff like that. You know, put a Taunt Coco on there. You can stop a lot of hazards and all that stuff. So maybe put an Aerodactyl as well. I like Aerodactyl. You see me use that a lot. Extra Electrode as well. That's why I use them because they have Taunt and they're really fast. And they get up to screens and hazards and all that. But Coco's good because it has that electric terrain and stops sleep and helps out unburden mons. So yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do a thing. And uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And thank you guys for 60,000 subscribers. We just hit that, man. That's crazy. Maybe we'll uh, hit 75k before the end of the year. Hopefully. That'd be awesome. I'm getting like 25k, around 25k like every year for the past two years I've been doing YouTube. Almost three years. It's because I started in 2017. Well, technically 2016 with uh, other video games, but nobody watched that until I started Pokemon in 2017 with uh, Battle Tree. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, have a good day. Peace, peace.